Okay, so we're going to wrap up Module 2, the Getting Started module, with this fifth section, Converting QuickBooks Desktop Data to the Online Version. So we had talked a little bit in Module 1 about the fact that if you prefer to use the online version, you can certainly do that. And we had looked in Section 3 of Module 1 at the different subscription plans that are available if you go with the online version. Now, what happens is if you've got the online version, you'll be able to access your data from anywhere in the whole wide world as long as you have internet access. Now I want to briefly tell you that sometimes people prefer to still use their desktop version. And if you want to do that, you can still access your computer from a remote location. You'd need to use some sort of software like TeamViewer is really popular, and it's free if you use it for personal use. There's also Join Me, which you might be familiar with, or also something like Go to My PC, which is subscription based. Any of those would work fine, and they allow you to access your actual desktop computer back at the house or back at the office. The downside to that is sometimes your computer might be off, and that way you can't access it remotely. Or you never know when the electricity flickers or whatever. There just seems to always be some sort of issue accessing your desktop remotely. So that's why people like the online version. So let me just show you where to go if you want to upload your data to the online version. Inside your actual company file, you're going to click on Company on the menu, and the very bottom is Export Company File to QuickBooks Online. Now I'm not going to click on it because it's actually going to want me to set up my account for the online version. But when you do, it's going to actually make a copy of your data file and upload it to that online account. It's not going to actually take this data and move it. So if you decide you don't like the online version, you still got your data to this point if you want to go back and use it. So just want you to know where that was in case you want to use the online version and export your data. So that's going to wrap up Module 2. Let's go ahead and move on to Module 3 and talk a little bit about how to customize this QuickBooks environment to work good for you. Hi, I'm Molly. Thanks for watching. If you would like to see similar videos, click the subscribe button on the right. I'll see you next week with additional videos.